Welcome to this video that shows how to go from a CAD geometry to a full CFD analysis of the external aerodynamics on a drone using ANSYS software, specifically Fluent. ANSYS space claim was used to import the CAD geometry of the drone. So what has to happen next is that the model has to be simplified get rid of the propeller, fill in any voids, and then you can see that there's symmetry left and right. So next, a wind tunnel will have to be created. The wind tunnel needs to cut right through the middle of our aircraft, it needs to extend a little bit out in front of it, and have quite a few lengths behind it for the wake. Next, we have to bully and subtract all of the aircraft from our wind tunnel. So we need to go to the combine function in space claim. We need to pick our target body, our wind tunnel, and then we need to pick the cutter. So we'll use a, a box to select all of the aircraft and then it cuts it out of it. And what we're left with is just our wind tunnel and the walls of the aircraft, at least half of the aircraft. Fluent meshing was used to mesh our wind tunnel with the airplane cut out of it. I used the watertight option in fluent meshing. I added boundary layers to it. And then when I generated the volume mesh, I chose polyhex core. So on the surface of our wind tunnel, there are polyhedral cells. And then as we zoom in closer to the boundary layer, you can see that the poly cells are extruded outward. Then as we look at the interior of the model, we can see that along the wing that you have polyhedral cells around the outside of the wind tunnel, and then you have hexahedral cells, and as you get closer to the wing surface, you can see there's a layer of polyhedral cells again, and then finally the boundary layer. After opening up the model in the Fluent interface, one of the first things we need to do is just do a mesh check. So perform a mesh check, it looks at the mesh, sees if there are any problems, and basically it says, no, it's done, nothing came up. Uh, the next thing we need to do is make sure that we're using the pressure-based solver because we're low speed, external aerodynamics, it's steady state. Uh, gravity's not important because we don't really have any temperature differences, no buoyancy. We're not solving for heat transfer. Next, we go to the Physics tab, and here we need to check our materials. So let's open up Materials panel, and you can see that we have air, and that's the default for fluent, so we're going to leave that default. We are going to change this, make sure this is an ideal gas, because there may be some compressibility effects with external aerodynamics, so that's the only change we make there. Uh, next, we when we pick ideal gas, you can see that the energy equation is also solved. The default turbulence model is a viscous SST K omega. We're going to leave that default. We only have one cell zone. We just have our wind tunnel, and so we don't have any interfaces, and we don't have any more than just one fluid cell zone called our enclosure, so we leave that alone. Next, we go to Boundary Conditions, and under Boundary Conditions, let's double click on the word, we have an inlet, and so we're going to make that a velocity inlet. Since we have an angle, we have a 20 degree angle. We're trying to fly this drone at a 20 degree angle of attack. Instead of actually physically moving the geometry, we're going to just change the wind direction. So we have inlets coming from this side and also from these three walls. These three orange walls, those are also inlets. We have a symmetry boundary on this side and we have this wall as an outlet. So what we want to do with those four inlet walls is that we want to set a velocity magnitude of 20 meters per second. Then we want to specify in Cartesian coordinates, we want to specify a unit vector that's going to give us this cosine and sine of 20 degrees, positive 20 degrees. And you can see that our wind direction is coming in the negative x direction. Here's the x direction. 
So that's got to be a negative number. And then we're going to be going up at 20 degrees, so that's a positive unit vector there. And we apply that boundary condition to the inlet. And we close that window. The only other thing we have to do anything about is our outlet. So if we double click on the word outlet, see this is a static pressure of atmospheric pressure. So this is flying at sea level. After running the default coupled solver and fluid and getting a conferred solution, you can see that here we have our wind coming in at 20 meters per second at a 20 degree angle. And behind this airfoil, you can see there is a recirculation zone. You can also look at pressure contours on the wing itself. And then this could be exported out to ANSYS Mechanical, and you could do fluid structure and interaction analysis. Finally, we could run this drone model at different angles of attack and plot both the lift and drag curves and see where we might have trouble with the stall. Thank you for watching.